Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. This is a weird run. I forget who it was suggested by. I could go check, but then it would make the video look all weird. Don't worry about it. This run was suggested by a man with no E's in his name. And the premise of this run is we can't take items that have an E in them. I thought this was an interesting run, because as you may or may not know, E is, as far as I know, the most commonly used letter in the English language. I mean, just look at this. You know, Magdalene. Eve. That's a good way to get out of playing Eve. Dead baby. Or blue baby, I should say, either way. Uh, we're gonna play as Isaac, because we need the D6 here. Now, there are some stipulations I have to add to this. Don't be crazy. You know, I'm gonna pick up keys, even though key has an E in it. I'm gonna pick up bombs. Bomb doesn't have an E in it. I'm just trying to say, like, it's just no items or trinkets, basically, that have E in them. So let's talk about some things that I cannot take. I obviously cannot take mom's knife. I obviously cannot take brimstone or... The blue candle, I think it's called the blue candle, anyway, the problem here is that I, a lot of the names for the items I've given like my own nomenclature, but I'm gonna do my best to, to keep this on the level, I promise. So this is Stigmata. Stigmata has no ease, it gives us a health upgrade, whoa, easy there, Isaac, it gives us uh, good damage as well, so this is a nice little pickup, it also makes us look like we need proactive. Not trying to hate on that, you know, I had uh, acne as a teenager, as a lot of people do. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Now, I didn't have the blood coming out of my eyes. That's something you probably want to get looked at uh, if, if you're suffering from, you know, basically anything. Eye bleeding tends to be a, a pretty negative sign. Uh, but I'm sure you're going to be fine. Just get yourself to a doctor and maybe make sure your will is in order. Obviously, we cannot take Cursed Skull uh, because Cursed Skull has an E in it. Uh, she drops the virus. This is called the virus, not poison touch. And as such, I cannot take it. So I'm just going to be skipping over that. Instead, I'll take this pill. We'll see what this pill does. Please don't hurt me. Friends till the end. Hey, that's pretty good because we're going to fight the boss right now. Now, some of us might accidentally pick up an item. Cube of meat is obviously off the table. Sadly, I can't even reroll cube of meat because it's just going to give me cube of meat again. That really sucks. Uh, because I... Ooh, careful. Uh, that's the whole reason I took Isaac is because I wanted this D6. So that if I got an E item, I could basically just be like, well, you know what? F you. And that's F spelled uh, H F F F F. A few? I don't even know. Guess I'm just gonna say fuck from now on. Sorry, Mom. I can't believe that hit me. This is the longest shot of all time. Dude's got an artillery table stowed in his jaw or something? Come on. Anyway. So, Cuba meat, obviously, we cannot take. You thought I was gonna take it there, didn't you? You think Northern Lion's just gonna go against the spirit of the challenge run right off the get-go? And my thinking with this run is that this will give me an appreciation for how many uh, items that I wouldn't even think of start with E. Because, I mean, I named a lot off the top of my head, but... You know, there's going to be a lot that we can take. Skeleton Key, I mentioned we can take keys, but Skeleton Key is obviously going to be unavailable. I think this is just called Small Rock. I don't think it's called The Small Rock. I'm so sorry. That was a total accident. I did my best. What is this? This is Parasite or Infestation. Either way, it's not usable. Uh, odd Mushroom. Odd Mushroom. We should be okay. Alright. Again, I apologize for taking that Small Rock. Again, again, I just called it the that small rock, not the small rock. That was just a total mistake on my part that I don't really know how to atone for, considering... You know, people have this unrealistic expectation. It's like, Northern Line, you should just look it up on the wiki. It's like, okay, yeah, just let me just pause the video. I'm gonna go look it up on the wiki. I'll be back in a second. And Camtasia's gonna be like, hey, don't do that. I just froze your program. And I'm gonna forget to edit it, and it's gonna be all weird like that XCOM video where I forgot to edit out when Kate came home. And everyone was like, "Oh, that's really sweet. Are you talking to your mom? I don't kiss my mom on the mouth. You jerks. I mean, I probably did at one point, but I was really young. Like 12 or something. I can't even continue on with that joke. I just got too gross too fast. Anyway, I'm just trying to say, have some, have some lenience. There's no way to atone for it. Small Rock is a very small upgrade in the whole scheme of things. Everyone just get over it. You'll be a lot happier in the long run. I'm not trying to cheat you. There's no scoreboard with my skill in Isaac on it. Graphed against my assholishness. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Who are we fighting next? We are fighting uh, Blighted Ovum. Which could potentially be good. Could potentially be bad. The problem here is that... Oh, man. He is so much faster than me. That's the problem here. Forget what I was going to say. Um... If we get an HP upgrade, I don't know which is dessert, and like which is breakfast and which is lunch. Okay, so we have the Pact, Guppy's Paw. The Pact we cannot take. Guppy's Paw we can take, and we can just do this. 
and like milk ourselves up huge spirit hearts and then roll with the dice from now on and then just never worry about HP upgrades from now on. I have to believe that this is called the 8-ball or like the magic 8-ball so I'm just gonna not do it uh, and in doing so I hope that that will atone for the mistake that I made earlier. I'm not gonna take that HP upgrade either. I guess I should reroll that just to see. Or I could reroll the one in the devil room, I guess. Or the boss room. I should probably just reroll the one in the boss room. I don't know. Let's just reroll this one for kicks. Let's see what happens. That is stem cells. Absolutely untakeable. So we're gonna skip over everything. All told, so far so good. I mean, there's no chance of us taking Whore of Babylon. So many things have the in the name. So I mean, like, the spirit art thing is not gonna affect me too much. By the way, I will be taking the Polaroid here. I apologize for that. But I mean, that's, again, kind of just a necessary part of doing business here. And I hope you will forgive me that mistake as well. I could go into the cheat engine. I'm actually using a different version of the cheat engine because I'm back at home in Vancouver. So I have the um, not... Oh, that was terrible dodging. Uh, the not alphabetized version. And I don't even know if that one has the option to skip the requirement to have the Polaroid to go to the chest. I've got to get the alphabetized version again because that one is seriously way more useful. Uh, except for the fact that oftentimes on this computer it just freezes it for some reason, which is never good. This is technology. Folks, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't hold a degree in some kind of audio-visual field. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants day-to-day -day here, uh, largely. So we are going to ignore the curse room. I've got the D6 almost built up. we got a shop. Is there anything I could possibly want in the shop? I don't think so. They all have the. The ladder. Blue candle. Nun's habit. But it's not actually called Nun's habit, is it? It's called item martyr. Which I don't think, it certainly has an E in it, so I think we can absolutely not take it. Uh... I don't know, man. We're just gonna keep winging it here. I'm trying to think of like the best items I could get that don't have ease in them to give me some kind of chance here. Spirit of the no, um, Lord of the no, Transcendence no. It's the Holy Grail, not Holy Grail. So I think all flying items are out. The pony. Hmm. It's a very tricky situation. I'm not sure how this one's gonna work out. I'm doing my. Eh, we might as well fight this. I'm doing my best here, uh, but it's hard to imagine. What could be a game-breaking item we get? I don't think there is one, to be honest with you. They all have the, the mark, the pact. Again, Brimstone Mom's knife are just obvious, but, um... Mutant Spider, even! Inner Eye! Mom's Contact is, like, my only out. Little Gish is impossible. Watch me get, like, three cubes of meat, by the way. This is a run that, now that I think about it, doesn't really have that much in terms of long-term prospects. The Relic, the Miter, these are all off the table. I wish I hadn't thought about that. I enjoyed living in this world where my victory was at least um, not impossible. In the English world, we, we call that word possible. In case you didn't know. Like, I didn't know, apparently. So I'm just gonna bounce these guys around. I guess we're gonna have to succeed by the, the skill of our, like, the sweat of our brow here. Which is never a good sign. What about rage? What's it? Is It's actually called bloody lust, right? Like, it's not called rage? I think that is gonna be takeable. I don't know, man. We'll see. That's my whole, that's my MO in Isaac now, is just take runs. Don't think about it too hard. Think about it a little bit, because sometimes people suggest runs that are just insane. Hey, no tears, no familiars, uh, no bombs. You can only use your mind to kill enemies. And you're like, oh, come on, man. Like, sure, that'd be really funny for about two seconds until I died. And also, it wouldn't really be funny at all. Anyway. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. We have the, the one good thing we have going for us, and part of that is because I took the small rock, but our damage is really good right now. So, in just kind of backing it up here, should be able to take this guy out without the use of a bomb, unlike the last video where I absolutely had to use a bomb. But I also had Mom's Bra there. Hey, there's an item we can take, Mom's Bra. Book of Revelations? No. Nope. Book of Belial? Nope. Book of Shadows? Yes, but that's not a great item to be taking here. What about boss items? What can we get here? Mom's panties is a no. Unless it was like mom's underpants. Oh, man, I want to take Horror of Babylon so much. Or Spirit of the Night. God damn it. Okay, okay, well I'm not going to reroll the Devil Room. The reason for this is because I only have Spirit Hearts, so this would take all of them anyway. So instead, I'm going to reroll this. Which is going to be Mom's Coin Purse. Sadly, no. We have to go back to the item room anyway, so hopefully this will give us a chance to get more... Uh, da -da -da -da, more... What was I gonna say? Charges on the D6! What can I say? Sometimes you lose... Sometimes when I freestyle, I lose confidence. Well, we're not gonna get any charges on the D6, but we are gonna get a Flight of the Concords reference and an item that we have to skip over, known as the Game Kid. Let's see what we've got here. You know what would be good? 
Tammy's head is something I could go with here. Not... Wow, okay. That was unex... Tammy's head has an E in it. I thought I was being so clever. Uh... Well, we're gonna look for the secret room quickly. I was thinking, like, Tammy's head, I could get, you know, one attack per room. Maybe that would be enough to do some damage. Sadly, that didn't really work out like that, now that I've realized, you know, the intricacies of the English language. You didn't even find the secret room, you know, even if I did find the secret room. The one up, can't take it. The onk, can't take it. It's the damn thuz, man. What else could I possibly take? Epic fetus, obviously can't take that. Blood rites, I can take. I'm paranoid that at some point in this video, I'm just gonna not mentally, uh... Like, visualize a word properly, and then people are gonna be like, wow, Northern Lion is actually an idiot. Keep in mind, you know, people make mistakes. I'm not trying to insinuate that I never make mistakes, of course not. When people are doing things on the fly, especially when they're multitasking, there's a tendency for disasters to happen. Anyway, there's a free spirit heart for me, which is good because I've lost a lot so far. We do still have spirit hearts up the screen, but our long term prospects for growth and survival are pretty goddamn low. There's also people who occasionally suggest Northern Lion do a run where you can't say any words that have E in them and you're like, oh come on. Okay, I think that's called the PhD. I'm not sure. It's just PhD. I'm glad I picked it up. Sadly, we can't get to these, but uh, either way, I'm glad I took a chance on that one and ended up working out. If it hadn't, well, you know, again, forgive me. Forgive those who trespass against you. As you, well, we all know the Lord's Prayer, don't we? I actually do not know the Lord's Prayer at all. The only reason I, I know a little bit of the Lord's Prayer is because I watched Spider-Man 1 so much, and there's that really horrifying scene where the Green Goblin goes and, like, breaks into Aunt May's house. Well, he kind of, it's not really a break-in. He kind of just, like, throws a bomb at a window. Anyway, and she's, like, reading the Lord's Prayer as this horrible demon is staring down at her. I'm like, man, Sam Raimi, that's some dark shit there. It's darker than Dark Man, which you also directed. People who are into Liam Neeson, because he's had kind of like a late career, or I don't know how long his career is going to be, but, you know, mid-career resurgence. If you haven't seen Dark Man, go back and see that. It's directed by Sam Raimi, same guy who did the Evil Dead films, as well as the first three Spider-Man movies. Try to just not hold the third one against him. Uh, Liam Neeson plays like a dude whose face gets burned off in an accident, and it's like half comedy, half superhero movie. It's really funny. I think that's Liam Neeson anyway. I hope I'm not making some kind of terrible mistake. The Neeson estate is gonna sue me. The Neeson estate, by the way, sounds like the worst place to work at of all time. Not because I have anything against Liam Neeson, it's just it's a horrible set of syllables to pronounce. The Neeson Institute. Here at the Neeson Institute, we inspect tags on underwear. Did I just steal that like directly from Pete and Pete? My bad. Anyway, go watch the adventures of Pete and Pete and Dark Man if you haven't seen them already. I am gonna stop aping Kenny Hotz's voice and continue onwards with this room, which I think is almost over now. He's got these turrets to take care of. They're gonna take three each. That was actually a surprisingly good dodge. It might not have been the best dodge I've ever done, but you know, I'm trying to build my confidence back up after that Flight of the Concords reference told you that it was getting a little bit lower. So the item room has already given us PhD. We haven't had much in the way of pills. Uh, I really just want balls of steel pills. I don't want health up pills because we don't have Guppy's Paw anymore. Uh, and we kind of need that permanent invincibility, or mostly permanent invincibility from the Polaroid. If these guys could just hurt each other, I would be really grateful. Sadly, they're the only people on Earth who took that song, Why Can't We Be Friends, literally, uh, and decided there's no reason they can't be friends, because we can just engineer some kind of scientific bullet that only hurts people that are differently colored than us. Wow, that surprisingly dark when you think about what those green guys are doing. They're saying, man, we've invented a weapon that only kills other races. You're like, jeez, Edmund. Where did that come from? Of course you can't, you know, explicitly say that in the description of the enemy or... You know, parents would be like, Oh, we gotta burn copies of The Binding of Isaac. Anyway, that's Maggie's Faith. I don't want it though, because it gives us... First off, Maggie is not spelled with a Y, I think it's I-E, so I couldn't take it anyway. But, uh, I don't want it either because... Oh, I just dodged completely the wrong way. Uh, because... Oh, Jesus Christ, come on, guys! Anyway, I don't want it either because uh, I don't want red hearts, and those eternal hearts would, of course, eventually turn into red hearts. I'm just gonna bomb right here. That did absolutely nothing. I'm gonna save my other bomb in case a tinted rock shows up at some point in the future. Because I'm getting a little bit low now, like a flow rider song. I'm gonna get sued by the Rider Estate next. That sounds like something that's actually, you know, here at the Rider Estate, 
We specialize in American versus European golf tournaments. I don't even... Is that what the Ryder Cup is? Or is that the Davis Cup? It's the Davis Cup, the tennis one. Man, I don't know. I just want to survive through this floor. Pretty soon, I'm just going to be fighting a room full of bomb flies, and that's fun for nobody except the viewers. Dodging has not been great so far, but there's also been a lot of opportunities where I could have been hit more than I have been so far. Let's be honest here. I'm not doing as badly as you might have expected. There we go. We created a great chain reaction. And then amazingly dodged that part as well. Just trying to get, like, get these guys hit. Start a chain reaction. Get out of the way. And there we go. All right. Everything's coming up Millhouse except for the fact that I can't take any items. But with these guys basically being dead regardless. Excellent. We got the wooden spoon. Obviously, that's got to go. That will become... Oh, man. Is that breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I can never remember. So, I'm going to try to get another reroll because I don't want to take it and have... Well, first off, I don't want to take it anyway because it's HP upgrade. So, that's the most important point. But I also don't want to have people being like, How could you not know that after 400 episodes? I'm not that observant. That's how I can't know it. What is this tarot card? Justice. Okay. You know what? I will take justice. Realize there's an E in justice. What did I say? Trinkets and items, motherfucker. We are going to the item room here. Sorry, the shop. Because I'm on the lookout for some kind of item, I guess. I... Spirit hearts, maybe, is the best choice at this point. Well, that'll do. Is that 9 volt or the 9 volt? I think it's just 9 volt. It's just 9 volt. Wow, that was surprising. And it's 9 the number, not... 9 spelled out, uh, you know, with the alphabet, so I'm actually in the clear on that one, surprisingly. And now we have 9 volt. We don't really have a good spacebar item to use in conjunction with 9 volt. But in spite of that, I'm now 2 out of 3 on guessing items, which is almost as much of a point of pride for me. I can't believe I can't find the secret room. I've got one more bomb. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to save that to possibly get some spirit hearts. We're going to have the code hanger. There's absolutely no way. Even if it doesn't have the, we can't take that. So it's down to the next floor. And that'll be the Depths Part 1, of course. Uh, Demon Judgment, always tempting, but when you have Spirit Hearts only, it's uh, very difficult to justify. Uh, and it's also very difficult to possibly get a better upgrade than, like, four Spirit Hearts that you're giving up. Well, sometimes four, sometimes, you know, all of them, until you die. That's the reason why I'm not going to be playing him, unless we have some kind of weird interaction where we start getting a ton of them. Obviously can't take that. Uh, start getting a ton of Spirit Hearts, I mean. And we've got a lot of things to spend our D6 on here, so I'm really hoping that uh, we end up getting a good item from Monster 2. A good, you know, wholesome, all-American, non-E-related item. If you're wondering why I'm sucking so much at dodging, part of it is just that I, I'm still a little Isaac Rusty. Part of it is that I'm super slow by way of both the Odd Mushroom and the Small Rock. I don't even know if the Odd Mushroom... I think the Odd Mushroom slows you down. It certainly makes you bigger. Uh, which is another thing that could make dodging harder, uh, but also, you know, of course, the small rock, which I shouldn't have taken in the first place, and yes, I know. So we're getting quite low on spirit arts here. The nail, obviously, I cannot take. Relic, miter, mom's, pearl, nope. All right, well, just continue getting buttfucked by monster too, then. Greeny didn't even hit him, because he was in the air. Ain't that some shit. Please, okay, I'm gonna put a bomb here. That's gonna work. It didn't work again, he's in the air. Maybe John Cusack was right, and if the 2012 apocalypse had happened, the safest place to be, man, in the sky. With who played his wife in 2012, Amanda Peet? I can't remember. I never even saw the movie. What am I talking I can't remember. Can't remember from that trailer I saw that one time. That was quite a dodge right there. Uh, I think we are going to survive this fight, but the question is, do I want to? <laughs> yes, yes I do, of course. Uh, this E-run is proving surprisingly difficult. Would things have been much different if I had... Uh, been able to take E items? Absolutely. That's the definition of a good challenge run is, well, it's one of the definitions of a good challenge run. Would things would be markedly different if the conditions weren't there? Yes. Otherwise, it's like, hey, Northern Line, take this run where you can't use Mom's Knife, and then I get Brimstone, and it's like, well, I don't need to use Mom's Knife anyway, do I? Please just don't die on me, Isaac. You're, you're having a decent run here. We finally got Monster 2 back into this pattern. Gotta stay really tight against him, which also sounds like my last week, but in reference to Michael A.L. Fox instead. I love the Northern Line of Michael A.L. Fox are dating conspiracy. That might be my favorite. Anyway, that's meat. What do we have in the deal with the devil? Luckfoot and Razor, neither of which really appeal to me. Again, I only have Spirit Heart, so it's probably not even worth a reroll. What do we have here now? Pageant Boy, obviously that is 
Ion XS inaccessible for us. Uh, we are going to look for the item room because we have to. Now, if I beat Mom on this run, I'll, I'll consider it a, a pretty great success. And it surprised me because I thought this run was going to be a lot easier than it was. But you don't realize how many goddamn items have E in them. If only, like, if I was to do, redo this run, the only thing I would change, because I think it's it's one of the most difficult runs I've done, to be honest with you, is I would absolutely make it so the doesn't count, but I would also have to print out, like, a list of items on the wiki. And who has a printer these days? I'd have to go to Staples, bring, like, a USB stick or something with a, I don't even know, an HTML file of the wiki page. It would be crazy, man. I know Jenny at Staples. Jenny doesn't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to deal with that shit. We're not going to go to the shop uh, yet anyway, if we get more bombs and find the secret room, we may go to the shop. That seems like a prudent decision in case we could find, I mean, it's not called the, it's not called battery, it's called the battery, but beyond that, battery has an E in it regardless. So the hopes of getting 9 volts and battery are, are substantially low. And by substantially low, I mean literally zero, but, <laughs> you know, if, if substantially low, or if literally zero isn't substantially low, I don't know what to tell you. Now the question is, do we re-roll this mob trap room item, or do we re-roll the uh, boss room item? I kind of feel like re-rolling the boss room item is... I, I, it might not even matter, to be honest with you, but let's let's give this one a try. Uh, Mom's panties, okay. Good news is, thanks to the 9-volt, we're going to get a lot more charges, obviously, with... Uh, why do we have more bombs now? When did that happen? Have I had three bombs for a long time? Am I just an idiot? Don't answer that. Uh, we're gonna blow this up, which should hopefully get us access over here. And again, just totally missing the secret room. None of the items in the secret room could help me out. Pretty sure they all have E's in them. It's crazy, because my favorite Chinese food order in university, would always call up VIP Chinese down the street and be like, I'll have an E, uh, my friend will have an E. 24 E's. Curious what E was. General Tao's chicken. General So's chicken, if you're from a less privileged part of the world that doesn't use the exact nomenclature that my place that is very far away from China does. Not that, obviously, General So's or Tao's chicken is authentic Chinese food in the first place. This is the saucy, spicy, uh, crunchy chicken. It's very popular. It's very good, uh, it's an extremely healthy dish. Deep fried chicken thighs in a sugary, syrupy sauce. Mmm, mmm. Anyway, what the fuck am I talking about? If I lived in a world where I couldn't eat food that had ease in it, First off, the General Tao's was an E, so that's, like, impossible to order. Secondly, I'm about to die here. Secondly, wow, that's surprising. Oh, don't get killed. I'm boxed in here. That was some prescient dodging there. Anyway, we're still alive, barely. Secondly, chicken. Turkey. Chicken fingers. Chicken burgers. Burgers. Hamburgers. Any kind of beef. Oh, my God, I'm fucking dead already. Thank you, uh, Mr. E Man. Get it, Miss Mystery Man. Mr. It was Mr. E Guitar Man who suggested this. Now, thank you uh, for this challenge run suggestion. I hate you, and I, I hope you don't die in a car fire. Uh, if I'm gonna send out this video without using E's, how would I do it? Thank to you all for watching, and I will show you a moving. GIF with sound again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. What a fucking disaster.